Applying Restore 10X You have chosen Rust-Oleum Deck and Concrete Restore 10X, a breakthrough deck coating engineered to add years of life to your deck. Be sure to watch the Rust-Oleum Restore Deck Preparation video. Go to rustoleumrestore.com to watch. Be sure to follow all surface preparation instructions before applying Restore 10X. You have selected Restore 10X to repair and recoat your worn deck, and the following will demonstrate the proper application process of Restore 10X, which will beautify and protect your deck for years to come. Step 1. Monitor weather. Now that you've prepared your deck, it's vital to take the weather into account before you begin the application process. Do not apply if rain is expected within 48 hours after application. Rain may affect your new restore finish if it is not cured for at least 48 hours. Also, do not apply if the temperature will drop below 50 degrees at any time during the installation and for a full 72 hours after application. Also, do not apply if the temperature will exceed 90 degrees. Avoid applying in direct midday sun, apply earlier or later in the day. Once the forecast is clear, you're ready to begin restoring your deck. Be sure to mask and tape all areas you want to keep clean of splatter. The first coat fills in cracks, makes minor repairs, and acts as a primer. This coat may be blotchy or spotty. The second coat works as a finishing coat and provides protection against future wear of the surface. Apply two thick coats. Restore is designed to be a two-coat system. Not applying enough Restore will result in poor product performance. One gallon of Restore 10X covers 25 square feet with two coats. Measure the length of your deck and then measure the width. Multiply these two numbers by each other and that'll give you your square footage. It is vital that you know your square footage and have purchased enough product to complete the application. If you have the proper amount of product, let's begin. Step 2. Mix. Before use, mix Restore 10X thoroughly and repeat mixing occasionally during your application. When using more than one container, combine all containers into one to ensure color consistency. Step 3. Coat trim, vertical surfaces, and paint in between cracks with Restore Solid Stain or Restore 4X. Whenever restoring a deck, begin by painting your trim and any vertical surfaces. Coat all vertical surfaces, such as deck posts, railings, or balusters. Before rolling, cut in around edges with a brush and coat any visible areas between deck boards. Step 4. Apply first coat. Once finished with the trim, vertical surfaces, and in between cracks, now it's time to coat the entire deck. Using either a 4-inch or 9-inch Restore Roller, saturate the roller cover. The Rust-Oleum Restore Roller is essential to ensure the project's success. Specially designed, this honeycomb roller absorbs and releases exactly the right amount of coating for a perfect application and texture every time. Apply in one direction with a slight downward pressure, maintaining a thick bead, as shown here, on the front edge to push material into cracks and voids. Do not overwork the coating by rolling back and forth, as it will lift the product and cause uneven coats. Work to a wet edge at all times. Once drying has begun, avoid rolling back into any coated areas. Throughout the application, use a putty knife or other straight edge to remove any excess coating between deck boards. Difficult areas, such as warped or cupped deck boards, will require rolling across the narrow width of the deck board, as well as the length, to ensure complete coverage. Step 5. Dry 4 to 6 hours. Once all excess is removed, allow this first coat of Restore 10X to dry 4 to 6 hours. Drying times may vary depending on temperature and humidity. If the area is still wet or tacky, do not apply the second coat. Step 6. Apply second coat. Two thick coats of deck and concrete Restore 10X are required. After your deck is dried, it's time to apply the second coat. Follow the same method as your first coat. Fill cracks, roll the paint, remove any excess product. Use the back brush technique for an optional smooth finish. Simply skim a paintbrush over the top of the fresh, still wet second coat in the opposite direction as rolled. Use care not to remove any of the material by applying too much pressure. Now it's time to let the new surface dry. Step 7. Dry 24 hours. Allow your second coat to dry for a minimum of 24 hours before light foot traffic on your deck. 
wait three to five days before replacing any furniture. If your surface is tacky or soft, allow extended drying time before putting furniture or other heavy objects back on your deck. It'll take three to four weeks for your deck to cure to a hard finish. Step eight, clean up. Your project is now complete. If you have extra product, store it in a closed container and keep it from freezing. Should you have any additional questions, please consult rustoleumrestore.com. We look forward to helping you with many more home projects to come.